Uh, Roy, of course, moved to Liverpool. Uh, took you with him. What was the lead up to that move and how proud were you to turn out for one of the biggest clubs in the world? Uh, it was a tough one. Um, obviously, the year before, done really well at, at, at Fulham. And the manager's obviously gone on to Liverpool. But he went quite early since when, when we lost in the final. He went to Liverpool quite early. So um, I knew there was interest. I spoke to him, obviously, away from, from it. Not wanting me to go and would I be up for it and obviously then it's down to clubs to, to agree but, so it happened quite late for me I didn't go I didn't finalise the deal till uh, deadline day on in, in August so it was going on for so long which mentally as well is quite tough the season had already kicked off Mark Hughes came in wanted to use me but he knew my head weren't right I wanted to go um, so it was a tough one the, the, the first Two or three weeks in that in that season was really tough for me because Fulham needed to get a player in before I could go and it was going to the wire. But eventually it got done. Um, and it was it was a tough one because you go and do so well at, at, at Fulham, but like you say, Liverpool, a massive club with fantastic history, come calling and I, I think it turns anyone's head and if you turn it down, you regret it. Um, so it's something that I've always wanted to go and try. I wanted to play for the best teams that I could. And Liverpool was one of them and I had that opportunity and I, and I wanted to give it a go and I was lucky enough to go and, and play up there. With obviously the fact that you had the prolonged transfer discussions and getting it over the line and the fact that Roy was gone by the January of 2011, how did that impact you? Because I guess you were Roy's boy, for want of a better phrase. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, massive impact, I think, at the time when when, when you a manager's player who goes to the club, I think, one, the club was in a bad bad way, if you like, trying to sell the club, but buyers, owners. So it was up in the air. I, I think, two, the, they weren't happy with the appointment of Roy. I think, three, they, Roy took me, so... I'm Roy's player, so that's another thing they're not happy with, and and then the manager goes. Um, so it's a tough one for me, um, especially knowing that they didn't like Roy, so they don't like me, which is just a vicious circle, if you like. But he goes, and I'm still there, and so I knew it was always going to be tough. Um, things happen. My mum says something, it goes all wrong. Um, so it was tough for me, um, but for the for the six months that I was there, Roy was there, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I thought, think it's a fantastic football club. I knocked on it earlier about Tottenham players. I went on again and stepped up and played with some of the world's best. Um, Gerard Torres, Carragher, Rodriguez. So I, I played with some fantastic footballers, um, learned so much. And I'm proud to play 20, 20 odd times for a club of the history that the, the club bring. Um, it was tough at times, coming from London, going to Liverpool with a young family. Um, tough at times, but I think you, if you, you don't take them times, then you, you'll forever regret it. And not, I don't regret one thing. In my career now, I don't regret one thing. Maybe I regret not trying to go another year there, but sometimes it's out of your hands and you have to take the rough with a smooth and, and that's what I had to do.